So this is the finished product. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks to Patrick mostly. <laughs> <laughs> I did not do too much. Yeah. But this is the Imigongo and I think it's very beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. very beautiful. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Right. Very good. Hello everyone. So today I am taking painting classes and we're focusing on Imigongo today. Imigongo is an art form popular in Rwanda, traditionally made by women using cow dung, often in the colors of black, white, and red. Popular themes include spiral and geometric designs that are painted on walls, pottery, and canvas. All right, so uh, sorry, briefly just reintroduce yourself. Uh, you're already on the channel, but uh, this yeah. is Patrick again. Mm -hmm. We're here for the painting class, so go ahead. Hello, my name is Patrick. Uh -huh. We are here for painting art classes, uh -huh. learning here at uh, NP Art Center. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. So let me bring uh, the gun step. Okay. And, uh, so we're going to begin by stretching the canvas so that we can paint on it. So we will use this one okay. for stretching the canvas mm -hmm. on this frame. So first you fold for the one line mm -hmm. like this one. Okay. And then you shoot the staples mm -hmm. like this one and like this one. Mm -hmm. And this one. And this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I just fold over this way. Mm -hmm. yeah? But you raise to this side here. Uh, yeah. So you fold from here, like here. Uh huh. So that we will have uh, the space to fold this one inside. Okay. So yeah. do I leave it out like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Oh. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there, it's okay. okay. So, like now, as we have this one, like this one, mm -hmm. and this one here, just four sides. Mm -hmm. So, we just come here, mm -hmm. just we have the enough space to just uh, fold this one inside. Mm -hmm. So we put this one like this one, mm -hmm. and then, This one inside, okay. like this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stable. Yeah, and then you stable. Yeah. Okay. So can you try on uh, another side? Okay. Huh? So after stretching the canvas, mm -hmm. so we use the white paint mm -hmm. to to prime on it so that everything you can uh, paint on here, mm -hmm. it can't come out from inside here okay. in the back. Yeah, so this is uh, the white paint. So you prime all of them with white paint? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So the reason why we have like um, this one uh, with uh, water mm -hmm. is that every time you finish to use maybe the blushes mm -hmm. so you put inside the water yeah and just to wash it to and then it, you yeah. wipe it yeah mm -hmm. just to change the color yeah mm -hmm. yeah like this one it's too small <laughs> but yeah yeah and then you go on the, the side, edges. on the edges. Mm -hmm. So while I'm painting, mm -hmm. tell the viewers how long you have been painting. For so I've been painting since um, 2016. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I have uh, joined the art classes at my young age. You joined what? The art classes. Ah, uh, the art classes. Yeah. Okay since 2007 okay yeah so do you have a specialty uh, in terms of the type of art that you like to yeah sure um i do love to 
to work on the painting for inspiring the society. Mm -hmm. Just uh, to tell the story behind the them. Mm -hmm. So, like uh, how family they are living together, mm -hmm. how the women in my country they are supporting each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this put lay down. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And how um, is the art scene here in Kigali? Is it very dynamic? Is there are a lot of artists here. So we have a lot of artists, but the art galleries are few in Kigali. So that's why uh, sometimes we 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 give the art classes to the kids around the, our village mm -hmm. because like uh, even the art school are few in the country so that they can learn the art from uh, the art galleries okay. around their village yeah and you said those classes for the children are free right yeah are free i'm trying not to touch them <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, why uh, did you choose to be an artist? Um, I chose that to be an artist because um, I'm self-taught artist. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing that um, I can tell the people. So, I didn't learn the art in the school. Mm -hmm. I was uh, having a dream to become another one. <laughs> Uh, what were you trying to become? <laughs> the doctor. A doctor? Yeah, okay. I learned uh, I learned biology and uh, chemistry in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but after finishing my high school, I didn't go chance to continue the university because mm -hmm. I was uh, learning in um, high school for scholarship. Mm -hmm. But in the university, it didn't work for me. So that's how I decided to continue art. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Art is very important. It's a good trade. Yeah. To Art to change yeah. life. Yep. Yeah. And what would you say to the young children who are So I can I can tell them that um no one knows what future bring. Mm -hmm. but you work for it mm -hmm. yeah so as I was a kid I do love to join the art classes mm -hmm. but I didn't realize that maybe in the future I became an artist mm -hmm. so I grow in that life for joining the art classes All and right. finally I became a full artist you just fell in love with it as you were learning yeah I think most children, they, um, oops, they are told to be like doctors and lawyers mm -hmm. and all of that. Yeah. But um, there are other career paths. Mm -hmm. And this one is a very creative yeah. career, which I think is very good. Yeah, it's a, it's a good. So in Kigali, do they have um, like art shows and art exhibits? Yeah. So like for the art show, nowadays is not going on mm -hmm. since to for pandemic of COVID. Mm -hmm. But uh, the artists are the one who prepare the art exhibition mm -hmm. just as an event to the people to show what they are developing from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. And you said there were only a few art galleries, but I seem to. Oops, it seems that there are more than a few. <laughs> it's a uh, kind of like a more than a few, but 
but not really because um, all the galleries from Kigari are not um, giving the chance to the kids oh. just to let them to learn from what they got mm -hmm. yeah okay all right um i don't know if i should smooth them over what do you think yeah it's huh? okay it's okay yeah so we are going to that big one okay yeah so you have to prime this one also as well. I'll prime this yeah. one. Yeah. And if you don't prime, then the colors they seep through. Mm. If you don't prime, the colors will come through. Yeah, if you don't prime it. I'm no artist though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like painting, but I'm not, I'm not really good at it. I think it's very relaxing. Mm -hmm. So do you have any um, hopes and dreams for your art career? Yeah, sure. So I've been learning um, another space for another? a long time. What is that? Ivoka Arts Kigari. Uh -huh. So since uh, I decided to find my space, mm -hmm. I want to see my space glow and uh, get more kids and uh, get more people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how do you think you can get more? Uh, you mean more artists and then more involvement from the children? Mm -hmm. How do you uh, plan on going about that? So I'm planning to when it get when uh, things get uh, normal uh -huh. to prepare some exhibition show mm -hmm. and some event every weekend and uh, bringing another artist to collaborate together. Okay. Yeah, and uh, inviting uh, the kids to join the art classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you go to some of the local schools to um, try to involve the children at the school? Yeah, I have uh, been um, giving some uh, internship to the kids from uh, Nyundo Art School. Mm -hmm so that they can come during the uh, holidays uh -huh. to spend more time in the gallery so that they can have a good experience to work with artists to meet with uh, clients to meet with uh, different people yeah okay good so guys today we are painting at the ibuka arts kigali ibuku arts was founded in 2007 and i'm just walking you through the entrance here if you watched my previous video, you would have seen that um, we're in the same area. However, they just moved all of the art into the space next door, which is for the Airbnb. The Airbnb is still up and running. However, they're now combining the Airbnb with their art gallery, which is why we're in this new space today. But I hope you enjoy. Let's get back to painting. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, you can just uh, let me do some simple sketches. Okay. Yeah, so. If we can do like a combination on one, that would be yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like um, the lines mm -hmm. to be a little bit different. Uh, what is the history with Rwandan culture with Imigogo? So Imigogo, it's used in our uh, ancient time for like uh, kingdom time. Mm -hmm. So while they are decorating uh, the king house, mm -hmm. so they put some Imigongo design on the entrance in the living room. Mm -hmm. So even at the place where like uh, the guests come to meet king. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, now it's used in some uh, way 
wedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to present our culture through Nyingongo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. Even like uh, between here, mm -hmm. there's some time you can add another one. Add more, yeah. yeah. Add more. Example, like here you can come uh, this one and go back again. Mm -hmm. Do this one. Mm -hmm. and skin this one. So maybe let's move another side so that we can do the simple. So guys, here we're moving on to the simpler sketch for my painting. His was a little bit more intricate, uh, but I wanted mine to be a little bit simpler. So what the process is, is that you would sketch your design on paper first, and then once you're satisfied with that sketch, you would then go over to the canvas and sketch the design on the canvas itself so that you know exactly where to paint and what colors you're painting. So uh, this is the process that we're going through here. You like this one? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's sketch this one mm -hmm. on the canvas. So as we started sketching on the canvas, we also made a shift in the design. So as you can see in the sketch, the inside we marked as green because green is one of my favorite colors. However, we decided to keep it a little bit more simple, just black and white. So yes, we are painting Imigongo as an inspiration. We're not using the actual cow dung on the actual painting, just regular paint colors. All right, guys, this is the final product here. I'm just putting on some last minute touches on the white paint but I really, really love it. I think that although the design is very simple, it is um, inspired by Imingongo, and I love this aspect of the Rwandan culture. I will be hanging this very proudly in my place, and I highly encourage anyone who is interested in painting, you can come with your own sketches, your own ideas, and they would be happy to accommodate anything that you would like to paint. The painting classes are once a week, and if you want more information, please check the description box for their contact details. All right, guys, I hope this provided a little bit of inspiration for you. I personally am a horrible artist, but I thoroughly enjoy painting. I think it's very relaxing and enjoyable. So no matter what your skill level, I think it's a great activity to check out. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and please definitely share. Uh, there are so many videos that are coming up that you do not want to miss out on. So I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye.